catch you guys back up. Modern yo-yoing has been blowing up all over the internet. The main reason? This trick, the DNA. It's captured the attention of millions and has quickly thrust yo-yoing back into the limelight. With the massive viral attention the DNA has garnered, it sparks somewhat of a yo-yo renaissance. As more and more yo-yo players showcased their best DNAs, viewers began getting into modern yo-yoing and trying to land their own very first DNAs. With the influx of players flooding into the yo-yo community, there was a surge in demand for yo-yos that made the DNA easier to learn. So with new yo-yoers wanting ever-increasing DNA capabilities in their yo-yos, I thought it was time to upgrade the design. And if I wanted to design a game-changing fingerspin yo-yo, there's only one guy I could call going, capable of writing the cheat codes. This is Jeffrey Pang. He's one of the best yo-yo designers in the world, and he's the guy responsible for popularizing the fingerspin dimple. In 2015, he designed a yo-yo called the Skyver. It took the yo-yo world by storm and sparked a wave of fingerspin yo-yos with a dimple at their center. If you've owned a yo-yo with one of these dimples, chances are it's based off the initial design the Skyver popularized. And it's the most common design used today to make the DNA easier for beginners. But ever since the Skyver was released, Fingerspin yo-yos have remained relatively stagnant. So today, I've flown all the way to Toronto, Canada to make a better Let me one. Let bag, sir. <laughs> all right, so this is the original metal Skyball. Mm -hmm. So this is the this is the aluminum part, and this is the Delrin cap. Okay. Oh, that's what it looked like? That's yeah. Pretty, that's, that's so thick. Weird. That was the Delrin cap for the metal Skyball. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the area that we had to change. It caused like some weird vibration issue if I made the dimple bigger or if I made this more steep. So, uh, so you made it flat. Yeah, I kind of had to. Not to optimize the yo-yo, but like manufacturability. Yeah. So in terms of fingerspin capabilities, why is that cap better than this cap? Um, so for the original Skyva, it had a problem where it would like aimlessly wander and it actually wouldn't go into the dimple like ever versus this one, it has a very aggressive a pattern that will no matter at what angle it's gonna go into the dimple the dimple right exactly yeah so like that's what creates that pull towards your finger so uh, now what happens versus this one you can see there's actually like a flat area and your finger always kind of gets stuck there unless you like wiggle your finger mm. and that was always a problem i knew about but i couldn't really fix it. i didn't have the time right. to mm. because it doesn't aimlessly wander it automatically orients itself into the finger spin dimple Oh, oh, oh my goodness! And then auto orients. <laughs> That's crazy! What the heck? Yeah. What? Makes it easy. That part of the material there, can't you just make like a full cone? Yeah, because this line, if, if it was a full cone, it would just go straight into your finger and it'd still be sideways. But because uh, this line is there, uh, it, it kind of sits there until it auto orients to a specific position and then, and then it goes in. Uh, yeah. So like, how did you make this like, good for competition? Hmm. Wait, I thought this thing was a finger spin yo-yo. Why am I talking about competitive capabilities? I want you to imagine a graph. On one axis, it illustrates how well a yo-yo's design helps you do the DNA. On the other axis is how well it's designed to do competitive yo-yo tricks like Godspeed, or basically any high stress combo that pushes the yo-yo to the edge of its spin time and stability. Most yo-yos with enhanced finger spin capabilities kind of sit here. Yes, they're really easy to finger spin with, but the material that's used to make that happen isn't there to enhance the stability and spin time, therefore the yo-yo is less competitive. On the other end of the spectrum, you've got your hard Hardcore competition yo-yos. These are like the sports cars of the yo-yo world. They're designed to be sleek, fast, and long spinning, and the people who use these don't care for trivial tricks like the DNA. In their quest to have the most optimized weight distribution, they add things like protruding axles or nubs or heck, even laser engravings, sacrificing any finger spin capabilities and ensuring the competition yo-yo's weight distribution is as extreme as it needs to be. Then, in the middle of all of this, you've got your budget competition yo-yo. These designs, while still being very competitive, are slightly more conservative. Most of these yo-yos won't actively hinder your ability to do the DNA, 
but they don't really enhance it either. Now, it's worth mentioning, every modern yo-yo can do the DNA or Godspeed if you have enough skill. But what the graph illustrates is how much the yo-yo you're using actively assists you in these endeavors. So, for the cheat code, we wanted it to have both of these capabilities. We wanted it to finger spin better than anything currently out there while still being as competitive as a modern budget competition yo-yo. Sounds great, right? So why isn't the yo-yo market flooded with yo-yos like these? Well, because up until now, no one's needed one. Competitive yo-yo players are often so skilled that they don't need a finger spin hub to do a finger spin. They can finger spin just fine in spite of whatever axle post or protruding hub they're landing on. And the yo-yo collectors or hobbyists, they don't need a yo-yo that's gonna outspin the next yo-yo. They just want something cool and fun and gimmicky to bring to a yo-yo meet. But things are slowly changing. I'm convinced that the next wave of competitive yo-yoers are going to be the kids that are currently watching TikToks right now. And the majority of them are starting with some sort of yo-yo with enhanced finger spin capabilities. Wouldn't it be cool if the yo-yo they got to help them learn the DNA also helped them learn advanced tricks like Godspeed and all of the other difficult stuff that comes after? But even so, designing a yo-yo like that is much harder than you'd expect. By the time I got to Canada, Jeff had already churned through five prototypes, neither of which I was happy with. So you want to take as much weight as possible from the center, and that includes a cap, which is why, like, for this specific cap, it's a lot thinner than like most yo-yos. And so like the all the weight we save from that cap and that yo-yo being thin, we redistribute. Yeah. Like that. So you can you can really make the yo-yo feel more competition like if you put a lot more weight on the outside rim. Ah. So this should theoretically be like really competitive. It should be, but I think I make it better. I, I think it's decent, but I think like it's not crazy competitive. Are there like a bunch of yo-yos that we can like show this to and get like feedback from? I mean, there's a lot of yo-yos in Toronto. We can host like a meet. So the plan right now is get a coffee, show this to everyone at the meet, and then figure it out from there. Let's go. All right, All right. so we're heading to the meet okay. now. How many people do you think are gonna be at this meet? Okay, the last one was like literally the biggest Toronto's ever had. I think this is maybe gonna be like, maybe double? Re like 50 double. people? Be at yeah. a meet? Cheers. I'm expecting this to be guys. Hey. Hey. Hey guys, how's it going? So many, it's such a large meet here. Babe, I was expecting this. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Sure. So what we have been working on is this. Could I try it? What? Wait, what? Is it? What the? What is that? What do you guys think it is? It looks like the metal spider. I think it's a hybrid. Like, no matter how you put your finger in, it, always it will goes. always go in. What the? Always. Oh. No matter what. Like you can shake it and it'll still go back in. The cheat code was an instant hit with the kids. They got it immediately. The easiest way to do the DNA. Test. Yeah, essentially, yeah. The enhanced finger spin abilities allowed the kids to land the DNA tricks they were currently struggling with. Oh no, you can get it. Oh. And it was clear they were having a whole lot of fun with it. What's it called? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. It's easier? Yeah, because it makes it go in the right way. Yeah, it always goes to the middle. Yeah, exactly. Whoa. <laughs> what? Recovery. But the older and more experienced players, who weren't as amused by the finger spin capabilities, had mixed reviews. It's like when I try to do a speed combo, it, 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 it like goes too fast for me to... Oh. Like, the momentum is too fast. Right, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I personally think that if you put more weight in it, maybe a little less, a little less center weight, maybe? Yeah, a little bit less center weight. The general consensus was what Jeff and I had feared. The design seemed to lack some elements of competitive ability. Ooh. I think you can add some weight here, I guess. Yeah, okay, interesting. Or make it like more like... Hateful. Because your tricks are so crazy that oh, you thanks. need more stability, right? Yeah. Oh, right what the heck? Oh, that's too 
long. Oh. It wasn't all bad though. Oh. Some players seem to like it. Uh, yeah, do you have a do you have feedback on the video? I think this is good. You think this is good? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're heading back now. My like mind's like blown right now. I don't really know what to do. Like, <laughs> like So that was the meat. Yeah. Did we get like, we got a ton of feedback. We got right? feedback. Yeah, we got good feedback. Oh, now we gotta like fix the yo yo. All right. So you're cool to like update the design, right? Yeah, I think you kind of have to. I think I had this concern too that it wasn't like it was almost stable enough, but it wasn't quite. Like it needs like a little bit more. So I'm thinking of changing the diameter by like a little bit, like making it slightly larger in diameter. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that gonna take long? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Like this area for the add the wave frame, so I think that's a pretty that's a pretty good amount. So you think the final design's ready? I think so. Alright. Send it. Yeah.